Okay, so this we're gonna take some measurements. When you get your package, or if you already have it, you're gonna come, it's gonna come with some sort of measurement tracker. What I would do is make a copy of this or scan it or whatever so you have multiple ones. Or you can just keep it on track on a note paper. But first one, chest. Get a tape measure. Some of the programs come with a tape measure, or if you have a tape measure, and if you don't, you can use like a piece of string or a piece of ribbon and then measure it out against a like tool tape measure. So whatever works. Um, if you can get somebody to do your measurements for you, that's easier. But usually, more often than not, you'll be doing them yourself. So measurement, the tape has to stay horizontal to the floor. So if you do it in front of a mirror, <laughs> It's easier, so you can make sure that your tape isn't rolled over. This is your chest. You do it basically right underneath your armpits, all the way across on top of your bra line, if you wear a bra. And then, um, don't pull it too crazy tight, because that's cheating, but that it's horizontal to the floor. Okay, so that's chest, write it down. Right arm, arms are tricky because, you know, you need free hands, but basically, from the point, like your shoulder point right here, you need to almost pull it so you can find a halfway point to the crease of your elbow. So measure from your armpit crease to the crease in your elbow, and then do halfway point from there. So see how that says 10 right there in my elbow? So I'm gonna measure around my bicep at five, just so it's halfway. And then I always write on my sheet five inches, so then I can just not have to do this every single time this is where it also gets a little tricky so usually if there's like a freckle or something you can use as a marker um, and that makes it easy to remember all right so just pulled her out I've been doing this for a long time so I get um, kind of good practice on it yeah lunch lady arms okay so again pull it tight so there's a little bit of resistance but you're not sucking in your arm so you can have a good accurate measurement okay right arm write it down you do the same thing on the left don't generally have to pull this because usually your arms are going to be the same length. Armpit crease, elbow crease, 10 inches, 5 inches. Fling it around. Okay. I was just playing with my other tape measure. Like a lasso. Alright, wrench it up there and figure it out. My left arm. It's smaller than my right arm because I'm right-handed. Okay. okay, arms done, waist. I do two waists. I do my natural waist and then you do your umbilical waist, which is around your belly button. So your natural waist is where you are the thinnest. This generally will go for women more than men. This is the 36, 24, 36. This is your natural waist. Okay, so this is where my waist is the thinnest. Excuse my nastiness, I just got done working out. Okay, again, parallel to the floor, fat, make sure there's no wrinkles or your tape isn't flipped around. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you, are you measuring your waist too? Oh boy, your cowboy. And then the next one is you find your belly button, wherever that may be. The tape right there, wrap it around like a belt, right at your belly button. Make sure your waistband's out of the way. We don't want to measure pant inches. Okay. All the way around, parallel to the floor. Good, good, good. Hips. Hips I do right under my butt crease. See, right under my butt crease, because that's also where your hips are the biggest all the way around. So your hips, you just want to measure where your biggest all the way around. And for me, that's right under my butt crease, so it makes it easy for me. Okay. Okay. You can also measure right on your hip bones. It really kind of doesn't matter where you measure, as long as you remember and measure in the exact same space the next time. Measure this way, make sure it doesn't hold up on butt. Okay. You're doing good. Thighs the same way. Leg crease down to knee. 
16, so I'm measuring around at 8. Okay? Scoop back so you can see. Hip crease, top of knee, 16. Measure around at 8. A little bit easier on the legs and the arms. Okay? Parallel to the ground, tapes parallel. Here we go. Alright, and then you do it on the other side, and then you're done. So you do measurements when you first start, and depending on what program you are, 21 days, you'll do it day 21. Or if you're in PIO or whatever, you'll do it day 30. Um, but keep track of these. And then when you take your before pictures, same thing. Before picture is kind of like a mug shot. So you'll take one facing this way, or you can do this, or you can do this. And then you take a back. Okay. I also do side ones so I can suck it in so I can do like side face mug shots so I can see how my butt is in my stomach are doing. And then um, to send it in, if you ever want to send it in for your beach body challenge, you have to take one where you're like, oh, you know, model pose. So your hands on your hips with your knee tilted a little bit like this. But they also have guidelines on that in your program information. All right, so take your measurements and take your before pictures and write them down because um, track and progress is super huge. And um, we do measurements. It's kind of a pain. If you've never done it before, don't get aggravated. Um, just practice it because sometimes the scale doesn't change, but your body does. Um, so we track everything. All right, talk to you later.